Hello, this is Tumble Dumpling, and welcome to another video. So my last video was the Automatic Iron Farm Builder featuring Tango Tech's Iron Titan. And it worked really well in Minecraft 1.11.2. But apparently we've got some issues happening. Now that we got the most recent update, which is Minecraft 1.12, my system no longer works due to a coding error. So we're going to go through that and we're going to talk about some other issues. Let's go through these and try to figure out if we can get this all working on your computers. All right, so problem number one, the coding system does not work in Minecraft 1.12. And I will demo that. This is what you will see happen. You go into your command block that's in the center of your spawn chunks. You paste the first set of code. You activate this and nothing. And you get an error code. Great. That didn't work. So, the easiest way to do this is shut down Minecraft and reload it using an earlier version. Preferably 1.11.2. I know it works in that. Apparently there's a bunch of versions that I suggested that it might work in in the past, like 1.9 or 1.10. Apparently that does not work. So, let's go 1.11.2. Okay, let's do it. So, I've reloaded Minecraft. It is now running Minecraft version 1.11.2. I'm going to paste in my code, get it activated. Boom, there she goes. So this is going to go through. And what I need you to do is just follow all the instructions that are written out quite clearly in the, the video Automatic Iron Farm Builder that I made earlier on. And this will go and build the whole thing. Once it's totally complete, including building the farms, building all the villages, and it should be spawning iron. At that point, now you can convert this back over to Minecraft 1.12, and then you'll be okay. All right, so here we have it. We have the 64 village version up and running. This is loaded back up in Minecraft version 1.12. There is some slight modifications for glowstone here and some jack-o'-lanterns down here to make it so this system doesn't freeze up because I am in a frozen biome. And I also have a little bit of lava here just to keep the mobs away. There you have it. So a big thank you to Card ASMR. This YouTuber let me know that you could actually just fire this right back up in 111.2 run the script, and then load it back up on 112. So thank you very much. You are a major lifesaver here. All right, let's talk about a very, very bad error. Golems spawning indoors. Now, this can happen for a number of reasons. The first reason that we're going to talk about is the Subterra Part 3 script. You have to use the correct one. There's a one for a positive x-axis and one for a negative x-axis. So let's look at that. So here's the Iron Titan. This is just after we use the Subterra Part 2 script. It's complete. It's now waiting for Subterra Part 3. So I have scripted in this iron block right here. This is the very center of the farm. This is your center door line placement. This is the block that we need to be focusing on with our debug screen on. What we need to look at, it's the block data on the X axis right here. So I'm going to plunk myself so right on top of it. And you'll notice that it's block 0, 85, 0. So the x-axis is 0. If I go 1 this way, my x-axis is positive 1. If I go this way, the x-axis is negative 1. Because my x-axis is 0 or a positive number, in this case it just is 0, I need to use the Subterra Part 3 dot POS, positive. If my center door line were actually right here, where I now have a negative number on my x-axis, then I would need to use Subterra Part 3 neg, N-E-G. That's as hard as it gets. If you do it the other way, golems will be spawning in the doors. All right, problem number two. Problem number two happens when we forget to connect up this output here. This is my iron output in this hopper right here to some sort of item sorting system or iron collection system and is going to need to be big. Get a lot of iron out of this thing. What happens then? 
If the iron just builds up in here, eventually this hopper right here fills up with iron and it stops the poppies from flowing down here. If we stop flowing poppies down, the poppies won't get to this dispenser right here. If that dispenser gets empty, guess what? We don't have any more items flying through this portal and that means our spawn chunks die. Well, they don't die, but they now unload. And this whole system needs to be redone, thank goodness. So, what I'm gonna do is something kinda silly. This is just a dropper here, and I got a little bit of redstone that makes any items that come into the dropper get shot out of it right down into that lava. So not very good for collecting iron, but it does keep this system empty. And just so you know, if you decide to go with more than a 64 village iron golem farm here, this system with hoppers here is probably not going to work for you. They have a hard time keeping up. So there are other systems that you can make using water. Water and packed ice. So the last reason why you might have some golems spawning up in the doors here is not being in your spawn chunks. Now, I'm not going to explain how to find your spawn chunks in this video, but I have promised in the comment section below that I would do this, at least in one of the videos. And I will make it, and I'll show you how I find my spawn chunks. It's actually quite easy to do, and so that should be just a three or four minute video to get that all sorted out. Now, let's talk about another issue. Say you've gone through, you're building the system, everything appears to be working, but you get to that first 32 villages, so they're complete, and the iron golems are not spawning where they're supposed to be. They're spawning down in the door section. So let's talk about a couple things that we can do. So you can let the system run until all 64 villages are complete and run the cleaner script after that, just like in my first video. Or you can actually stop the operation of what's going on here. So unfortunately for my map, all this stuff is behind, well, it was actually inside the mountain. But this whole system here can be problematic when we want to restart. So the first thing that we want to do, get rid of all this redstone. Second thing we want to do is get rid of these two command blocks. Get rid of this redstone block. Get rid of that. You can go and take all these ones out if you want, but all you need to really take out is the top five. The top five should do it just fine. Don't worry about the jack-lanterns, they'll be okay. So you got those out. Go and take off the, at least the top five of these. Kill this redstone block, kill that. All the rest of that should be fine. And now the simple easiest way to just get this all started again, come down to the portal room here and right where this comparator is, get rid of all this junk. This comparator was right here. Put that there. Put your first script in and start all over again. It'll actually wipe everything out and it'll start it clean. But before you do that, you need to come up here and bring out your old trusty bucket of lava. Just like this. And kill these guys. Otherwise, they're going to be running around like crazy. Remember, if you're partway through, there's going to be three pods. You can leave it just like that. The script is all set up to take care of that. It doesn't matter if that lava is flowing. You're ready to go. When I put the first script in, it'll just mow right through that and it'll start it all over again. You'll get a clean slate. And if the problem was you just put in the wrong uh, subterra script three, mind yourself, do it right the next time. We're all allowed to make mistakes, right? You can leave everything as you see it here though. So this is Tumble Dumpling. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope this works out better for you. I'm going to be putting some comments on the other video just to share what's going on here. I'll put a link to this video in the first one as well. And happy farming.